Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and showcase how spammers spam emails and how you can set up a temporary email account on the internet so you don't have to give your Gmail, your Hotmail, your whatever email away. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning for some fun, let's always enjoy, shall we? So here we have an online, let me make this a little bigger. Let me click in here and make this a little bigger just so we can check this out. All right, so we have an online fake mailer with attachments, encryption, and HTML editor and advanced settings, All right? So this is a site that we can set up like from a uh, from name. So for example, we can put, you know, I don't know, Henrik Lundqvist and his email, Henrik at HenrikLundqvist.com, whatever. And then two, so what what we're going to do is set up a fake i'm not going to put anyone's real email out there because that's obviously not cool so there's something called 10 minute mail we can just go to google and just put 10 minute mail and you can click on the first one it's free anonymous temporary mail right so pretty much beat spam with the disposable email services so this is a an email right here which we can utilize to check out obviously we have seven minutes left i don't know i guess add 10 more minutes all right so here we go so let's go ahead and copy this for an example we're just going to check this out so here we're going to go ahead and say from i want to go ahead and just put fake pat right i'm just going to put that just for my sake and i'm just going to put fake pat at fakepat.com okay and this does not have to be a real email address, right? This is going to be sent to a real email address, which is that email that we just generated from 10 minute mail. And the subject, we can say, win, win million d bucks, right? Win a million bucks. All right, so we can go ahead and attach a, an attachment and all that stuff if you wanna go ahead and attach a link with the, for an example, if you're a spammer or if you're a malicious actor, you would maybe do something like a reverse shell, an RCE, remote code execution, or some kind of malicious intent for, or a malicious code for your intent to do something bad, right? So what you can do here is click on advanced settings and you can see, okay, reply to. So say for example, I wanna put when they reply, reply to maybe a real email address. So if you guys get those emails from like Norton or antivirus or Norton antivirus or PayPal or any of these kinds of scammers, they, they probably use some kind of service like this. And then they'll reply, maybe they'll do like a BCC, which is blind uh, carbon copy. Now when they actually, when you, when you reply to it, it's gonna go probably to a real email, but we don't see that email as a victim, right? So, you know, so on and so forth. You can go ahead and get really granular. I want to go ahead and ignore the uh, advanced settings for now. And in here, I want to say um, the way we or the way you will win the money is clicking the link below. Okay. And then I want to put link and then we can put a hyperlink and blah, blah, blah. And you can put a malicious link to point to maybe a C2 server, a command and control, or whatever you want to do. Thanks, fake Pat. Okay. So now we can just come down here and we can say, I am human. Let's see if I'm human. What is the, uh, let, let's go ahead and make this a little smaller. Click on the object that spins when pushed. I uh, guess a bowling ball, this ball, maybe this ball. All right, let's see if that works. All right, let's do it again. A ball and a ball. And let's see if we can verify. Are we human? Absolutely, I think I'm a human. Human. So let's go ahead and send that. So once that sends, it says email successfully sent or email sent successfully. Now we can come back here and we can see right here in the middle of my screen, win a million bucks, right? Boom, it was just that easy how scammers can send you out emails and now if I'm a victim, I'll be like, oh man, this is a cool way to win a million bucks. I'm poor and I wanna go ahead and click on this link. Obviously there is no link in this, 
but you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to convey. So now, how can we counter this? How can we protect against this, right? So now what you can do, so say for example, there was a malicious link in here and we wanna go ahead and go out to like virus total, virus total, okay? So if we go out to virus total and we can go, to, you know, there's just so many tools. I'm just using this as an example. And we can say, I'm just gonna put uh, hack this site, right? Hack this site.org. I think that's the, that's the site uh, for their CTF. Let me go ahead and just make sure hack this site. Oops, uh, hack this site. Okay, so let me make sure that's the, that's the URL. And I believe that's it. This is like an, another CTF kind of a site. You can go ahead and learn some stuff. But anyhow, so say for example, the link that was attached to your email, you wanna go ahead and make sure it's legit. And obviously this says one malicious thing, uh, AI pre, pre-crime, whatever. But then you can go ahead and, and uh, analyze this uh, URL. You can go ahead and go to any run. You can go ahead and put this in like recorded future or you know, any kind of tool that you have available in your arsenal that whatever floats your boat, right? And obviously hovering over it, say for example, Pat was your coworker or Pat was your friend. You can always just get up, call Pat and say, hey, did you send me a link to win a million bucks? And I'd be like, hell no. If I had a million bucks, I would give it to myself, right? So then, you know, Bob on the other end would say, okay, thank you because I got this email from you saying click on this link to win a million bucks and it just seemed too good to be true. So just be very, very cautious of what you're trying or what you're doing when you're clicking on these links because, you know, and if you're an organization, you have something called security awareness training that you should go through maybe quarterly, uh, twice a year, whatever, unless you get a phishing link sent to you from maybe no before or your organization and you click on it and you fall for that and then you'll do some training which is pretty, you know, a couple minutes long, but it's it's annoying because it's like, oh, I clicked on a link. But then there's the other part, right? Like I've done this in the past. Like if I know that something looks malicious, I'll double click on the email to open it and then delete it. And then, you know, I, I'm like happy clicking, click, click, click. And I accidentally click something. This has happened to me in the past. You know, I know how to hover over a link, copy the link, put it into a tool that I can analyze and make sure that link is, you know, legitimate or if it's malicious, but sometimes we get happy fingers. So obviously some users will also do that as well. So, but at the end of the day, if you click on the link, it's going to send it to a, uh, to the team, the security team, and that security team will assign you training and you'll be doing that training. But if you're a consumer, if you're not, you know, not in a business, you just have to be really careful because, you know, a lot of people, especially older folks, will fall victim to these scams. And then maybe they'll have a phone number to call. And it's like a temporary phone number as well, like a 1866 number or 1855 or whatever the phone number is. And they'll say, hey, this is Bob from Norton Support. We're going to jump on your computer to check out some stuff. And I'm going to be honest. I like those. When I get those emails, if I have time, I do call. I get onto a machine that's in a sandbox environment and I just, you know, I, I troll them if you want to call it that. And I have fun with it, right? I have a giggle and uh, maybe one day I'll film, I'll call them and I'll put them on the speaker and, and, and have a blast with them. But, you know, I don't want to take the shine away from other people that, that do that because I really enjoy it. I just don't really put content out there about it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it today. I just wanna show you guys how spam emails are created. There's so many other services out there. I just thought this was pretty, pretty easy to set up and it's online and it's relatively easy and available. So why not? So hopefully this video was informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, throw it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get, it, uh, get to you guys whenever I can. All right guys, take care and until next time, have a good day.